Hey everyone, welcome to another cast by Vita Letum, and this is another ladder map, uh, I, I forget what name this map is, but I'm pretty sure any of you guys that play, uh, play the ladder know exactly what this map is, it's, it's the newer one from this season, and this is actually a TVT, typically I haven't really, uh, played against other Tarrant on this map, uh, it, it doesn't seem like, uh, very many, uh, of, uh, us Terran users out there. Really, uh, really ready. like this map because it does kind of have an open, uh, open third. The natural is kind of tight, so that that's all right. It just it feels like a much more open map than it actually is. I think it's kind of deceivingly SCB open. Ready. And uh, in this map, I I, I just I really I don't I haven't seen any Terran players. That's just what I feel like. However, the couple that I have played. One thing that I've noticed is that Reaper openings are really nice to use, and I think people are just starting to catch the hang of that and understand that uh, Reaper openings are going to happen more often in this map, which is something that I have actually kind of caught on to doing, and that's why I've decided I'm going to be Reaper opening in this game. And um, as you'll see, it, is it's is he's going to be completely prepared for that. Not only does he scout it out, but... Um, it's going to be completely shut down, which is fine. Um, so first thing I'm going to be doing here is I put down my barracks on the southern part of my base. And the reason why I put it in the southern part of my base is because if he scouts my base, if he doesn't see anything, he's going to freak out. He's going to be like, where's my stuff? Where Where is it? Where did I put it? And uh, he's going to kind of worry and kind of uh, scatter around and that. And even if he just doubts himself for a second, that's still enough time for uh, for me to gain a sl slight advantage, even if it's just for a second. And also with this is uh, if he does scout it right away, it doesn't hurt anything. Okay, he sees it, but my but I still put it down on time. It's still fine. I'm going to be taking gas right away, and uh, just so I can I can make that. Uh, usually you can make uh, that tech club right after that barracks is done. Uh, lately, it's been kind of off. Uh, my barracks has been finishing before uh, before I'm able to get enough uh, gas for that tech club, so I'm not too sure about that. Here, I'm actually going to be placing my SCV on the northern part of his base. I, I want to try and hide it as long as possible, because I, if I do have the opportunity to keep I that SCV complete. Al alive long enough, I Upgrade. want it to be complete. used as a buffer for my reef. Reaper to uh, to be able to do more damage. So basically, if he just if he doesn't target fire my Reaper um, and just a clicks his units, that way uh, he, he, he kills my SCV before he kills attack. my Reaper. Unfortunately, he does scout out my SUV. He will be taking that out, and um, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, I did, however, scout that he has not gotten ready. gases quite yet. So I'm I'm assuming at this point that. Uh, that he's going the for a gas uh, command a center. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and get my command center right away. I'm not going to put it on the ground. SCB I feel ready. pretty safe because he is going for that gas uh, command center. So I think. And I will be continuing on. Just making up uh, Marines right now. I will continue to get up that gas. Because soon I want to get combat shields right away. Um, combat shields. As I've said before. And I, I can't stress this enough. Combat SCB shields ready. you want to get before sim hold on brief second my reaper was completely shut down this is actually a big moment in the game because i wanted to see if he got those gases because that's going to tell me not only is that going to confirm if he went uh gases command center which i've already in this game i've already confirmed or i already really 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 think that he's doing this uh but it's also going to tell me how soon he's going to tech up to tanks, or how soon he's going to tech up to Vikings? How soon is he going to? It basically gives me a gauge of how many more Marines he's going to have versus how much more tech he's going to have. Um, also, I sent my first Marine up to that Zelnaga Tower mainly for that is because uh, sometimes with Reaper expands, you're going to have less units than your opponent that decides to go for a gas ex expand, and due to that, they can very easily pull like three or four SCVs as well with five or six marines and go in and do a push and that can do damage to me especially because i decide not to put a bunker up at my front because i don't want to i i already feel like i'm behind however i'm going to be ahead in tech because i did get that tech lab out because my gas started mining before him um research i have taken both now now towers uh as you can see is i'm already working on stim now and that's really nice in the 
in the production tab, you can see kind of uh, some ready. funky things. Like he he could go cloak Upgrade banshee. Complete. He could do other things. Um, I didn't really feel like he was gonna go banshee this game when I scanned him. I just felt like he was just teching up straight to tank. He was just gonna go siege tank and just play really defensively. And uh, I do have combat shield on that marine, so he is not able to take that tower. Um, I also felt like his build was kind of wonky. Like uh, he didn't he didn't go ahead and get stem for a little while. He didn't get combat shield. He was just naked marines for a while. Uh, very inefficient marines. They're just there to soak up damage, um, which is fine. It means that he wants to devote more gas to tanks early on. But uh, with the build that I'm doing, I feel like uh, it allows me to not only get my upgrades on my marines relatively quickly, but it also makes it so I can go to two factories rather than the one factory that he stays on through the entirety of the game. Um, also, I'm just going to keep on macroing up. It's going to be a pretty stale game, at least for this, uh, this point in time. I'm sending out some marines right now, trying to make sure that uh, because the Zelnaga Tower only really focuses on the center of the map, there's still some pathways that your opponent can take, uh, which takes a long time for me to view through the Zelnaga Tower until it gets to my front door. So on this map, you want to make sure that whether you're playing Zerg, whether you're playing Protoss, whether you're uh, playing Terran, you have something in those positions. For me, I'm going to have Marines uh, in these positions to scout for drops, to scout for armies moving around, to really scout for any type of shenanigans that could be going on. As a Zerg player, have your Zerglings there. As a Protoss player, no problem for you putting up pylons there because... <coughs> sorry, excuse me, sorry for that. Um, even if uh, if they don't scout it out, if it's kind of left there the entirety of the game... Um, you can probably, if you put it like further to the south, you can high tech there later on too. Um, there's no reason for you not to, um, unless you have a really active player like me. I, I'm playing a lot more active than I usually do. I really think that I was on my game today, um, just playing extremely well. Um, we also see that I am getting a reactor on my on my starport right away. I want to get medevacs as soon as possible. I just um, in this point of time because I was so marine focused if he decided to do a tank drop and there's a drop going on right now from uh, from our uh, opponent going and uh, I was able to spot this pretty quickly so I am able to get a uh, react in time so not a lot of my uh, of my facilities are damaged from this he does snipe my tech lab however luckily enough that my simming combat shields were done so I didn't really need any more production uh, any more uh, at least uh research from that the only thing that is kind of a bummer complete. is that uh i do have uh I, I i lose a marine cycle but that's only one marine cycle not as important as that reactor is um research it, tech labs complete. are extremely important w during that period where you want to research but once it's past that period uh, i mean I you can put it complete. back on or you don't have to actually to be on all honesty i think he actually helped me out by killing out that uh tech lab something to think about in the future if a tech lab gets sniped on your barracks and you're going purely marines and all of your marines are completely done, if it gets sniped, just go ahead and build a reactor. I, uh, that's Is something I should have done. Or I, uh, um, if you don't use it, uh, go ahead and build a reactor somewhere else with that barracks and you can put down a factory on there. Um, something that I definitely need to work on and I've seen uh, a couple players do. Um, now I'm just sending some more Marines around on the map, just uh, checking to see if he's gotten his third yet. If he has gotten his, his third, that might initiate me to be a little more aggressive. Um, if he hasn't, which he hasn't, I'm going to go ahead and try and stay a little more defensive. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take my third base and just take a small lead on him. Scanning him now, he didn't really look like he had very much stuff, which I was kind of surprised about. Um, I figured, uh, I kind of felt like that I was kind of behind because I decided to tech earlier on, but by this point I had already caught up. And I think some of that has to do with the Ready fact that um, because he went Gaslight's command, he, he didn't uh, command center. I don't think he felt confident enough to build his command center on the low ground. Because he didn't build it on the low ground, that allowed me just to have a couple seconds extra mining time, even though my command center started later. Um... So I'm going to be moving around this Marine right now. This Marine is just kind of sitting there, making sure that no stim 
uh, Marines are going to be coming down and harassing my third, or if there is, I have enough time to react to it. And that's another thing. Um, you're going to notice later on that this guy does put down a, a couple sensor towers. And to I, I'm a fan of sensor towers. I like you sensor towers. And I think gone. some maps like the Curse Plateau really call for them. Um, the only problem with them is I think that kind of... That kind of gives you a tell that either A, the guy wants to be defensive, or B, the guy doesn't want uh, to be attacked in those locations. So... Uh, Either that or it's going to be really heavy fortified. He's going to be okay in those positions. I'm going to go ahead and after that scan, I'm just going to move my army around. I'm just going to kind of see exactly what's going on. And uh, changing my rallies now. I, I kind of think that he uh, in this game, I kind of thought that he was moving around his army at this, uh, at this point. So I just wanted to Additional move my core army just a little bit further ahead. So I had a little more position on it. And I had a little more room to work with with my Marines. Uh, the command center is about to finish. And as soon as I get this base after aid, I'm going to start doing some aggression. Because I've noticed that he hasn't expanded at all. So I, it's going to hit this timing where uh, he's going to be slightly ahead of me. Which, um, looking at the supply uh, discrepancy, I'm actually ahead of him at the moment. Typically, you're going to see that two base player is going to be just slightly ahead of the uh, three base player. Just for a short while. And uh, Ready for dust he's starting to lose that timing. Ready because he's going to be now. losing that timing, He's, uh, I'm going to be able to this be a little more aggressive. Good. Also, I checked that base because I haven't seen him take that third base. I was kind of worried as if he took a hidden base. And uh, he didn't take a hidden base. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried that uh, he's going to be doing a huge attack coming Upgrade. up here. Complete. And uh, I, I really want to know where that army is. So I uh, do scan... Uh, the tower. I didn't see anything oh, no, at no. his Zelnaga tower. Uh, I'm going to be adding on some Let's some uh, production facilities because my money is going to start Let's skyrocketing here, here in a little bit from that additional base. Um, and uh, I'm just continuing to macro up, just upgrade and whatnot. I I know I don't have to be aggressive because, well, I have three bases. I, I have the advantage right now. No need to really throw away that advantage that I've gained. I finally see the sensor tower go up. At this point in time, I probably should have scanned uh, to see where that sensor tower was exactly. And the reason being for that is because I've seen some players also decide to move their army with the sensor tower. And if that's the case, I, I could have left his, uh, him completely vulnerable. All right. So now I see uh, see that he did kill uh, kill my marine with, uh, with the small group. So I'm going to send another marine over there, just out of range of that, uh, out of range of that sensor tower. But that's also going to check to see if he's going to be taking a base over there, additional because uh, if he's not going to take that traditional third base, um, that's going to allow me uh, to go ahead and hit him in several locations, and that's going to that's going to initiate me to start dropping all over the place. Um, the only advantage I see him taking that northern base is it's going to defend him it's going to protect him from drops like it's going to be a lot harder to drop him um simply because uh it completely basically protects his uh main base from the drops um however while his uh at the same time it wouldn't make sense if he took that north uh that northern base because he already ready built that sensor tower it'd kind of be a lost cause for him I, he finally gets his third base up and I've had my third base for quite a while now. So I go ahead and take that fourth base. I, I know that I'm in the lead. I know I can take that up. And because he took that third base, now I feel like he decided to put in money to catch up to me now. And I don't even think he knew that I had a third base. So I can go ahead and siege up here and just play a little contain game. Force him to stay on those two bases while I get further and further ahead. And this really makes it so... He has to make that opportunity where he has to engage Additional my army, which allows me to remax at a faster rate than him because I'm pretty sure I have more producing uh, facilities than him. I know I'm making more money than him. Um, and uh, scanning his army now, I see that he's moving it, uh, moving it now. I'm going ahead and keeping my army where it is because what I was thinking in this game is that I want to grab my uh, reinforcements and go ahead and sandwich him on two positions. 
So I take a couple of my tanks on the board. He does decide to stay in. And uh, this is going to be all. And this engagement was actually really bad for both of us. Our Marines were just really clumped up and just an, just an awful uh, engagement. I was able, however, to pick up three of my Marines. And I will be dropping them on his tanks, but not to really much effect. Uh, didn't have enough Marines to really uh, lower his tank. Power. But that engagement was actually a victory for me. Though uh, it, though he had more stuff, um, and he's more tanks. Um, because I have the base advantage on him, it really completely it, it's still in my favor completely. I'm fine with going ahead and uh, giving him a small victory. Um, when I'm this far behind, uh, I do decide to bring my tanks in, uh, unseize them, and just pick off a couple more of my tanks because just lowering those tank numbers is is really good. Even though that uh, I was losing tanks in doing so, um, at this point I knew I was ahead. There was no way uh, that he would be able to remake those uh, tanks as quickly here. as I would uh, with me being on three depleted. factories as well as uh, how many barracks I was on. I am now taking my fourth base, just putting down a missile turret here and there. Uh, just to make sure that no uh, no drops go by. I'm still keeping that uh, Marine over there. Uh, kind of queuing up on my SUVs. That's that's okay to do sometimes. Typically, it's not. Um, you want to have that extra money on you. Um, but that was... Uh, when uh, when I start queuing up SUVs, typically that's uh, towards the end when I'm, I'm done making SUVs where I know I'm not going to make any more SUVs. Any SUVs from there are going to be... Uh, mules from uh, additional command centers um, because you don't want too much supply in your SUVs. You still want to have an army. There is a point where you do want to stop making SUVs Upgrade and complete. when I finally queue up, that's normally that's the last time that I'm going to ever think about SUVs and I'm not really going to think about it again. Um, that's just my way of saying, all right, I got enough. No more. Uh, I sim up a Marine just to kind of see if he had his army there. I see that he doesn't have his army, so I know I have an opportunity to move my uh, army in. And uh, it's really going to give me, and you see his army is completely out of position. And all this is thanks to simming that Marine forward and just seeing where everything was. And this is also, I'm also seeking up before him. I have much better concave than him. And uh, he's going to lose everything. And uh, he's sitting uh, about 100 supply behind me. He couldn't really do much. We had the same upgrades or I was sitting on uh, additional armor. He was about to finish 3-2. So he would have had an upgrade advantage on me just a little while longer. But uh, that ended up not happening. Uh, anyways, this, uh, this was a pretty good game. Um, Another ladder game once again. Uh, go ahead and check out more of the videos on the channel. We have uh, we have the PWX uh, on the uh, Next Gen Network as well as other StarCraft videos if you're interested in that, as well as uh, other genres too. So uh, take a look at those, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, good luck and have fun. See you guys.